Well, tomorrow is decision day for two local school districts, and CMS and Watauga County Schools are now set to take up mask mandates. Now, they're just one of just a handful of statewide schools that still have theirs in effect. Signs are also pointing to the mandates ending. But the big question tonight is whether everyone is ready for it. Queen City News reporter Dick Dellinger has the very latest. The new information is out, the new guidance is out, and mask mandates are ending. But some of the last in North Carolina to keep them around are the school system. CMS is among them, but that could very soon be changing. The district has to prepare, but so do students and parents. When you put it into perspective, since March of 2020, there have been few moments in Mecklenburg County where a student or teacher has not been masked in a classroom. Even that brief period where masks were optional was around the summer of last year. But with the school mask mandate possibly coming to an end as early as this week, we couldn't help but ask, are you ready? I'm ready for it. Kristen Aquino has children in CMS. She's been for safety measures all along. And while she says she is ready for the mask to end, so is one of her kids. I had one that immediately said, I hope they do away with it. I would love to see my teacher's faces while they're teaching to me. One of her children is not fully on board just yet. Her big thing was there's times of the day where they are very crowded. Like when they're going into the initial school building, it's very close quarters. It's very crowded. I get a little nervous because I don't know if somebody has it and they're like not quarantining or they just like feel like, you know what, it doesn't matter. Student Olive Hazelton still wants things to stay the same. I just want to stay safe and I know like my grandparents are out here and I want them to stay safe and everything. All this talk has led to a big back and forth for months on what to do with masks in schools. Anti-mask groups have formed and have led to vocal opposition at CMS board meetings. Despite that, the board says they are listening to the science and the guidance from the county and the health department to make their decisions. But with the science and the guidance changing, so are the opinions. I, I do think that this is the time, but I, don't, I, I think we're all in for a new normal. Now, even if the mask mandate does end, you will still have to wear a mask if you ride a bus. That is a federal rule for any type of public transportation, which for now, remains in effect. In West Charlotte, Derek Dellinger, Queen City News. Well, tonight, Cabarrus County Schools are going the way of the new state recommendations for COVID contact tracing. Now, starting with tomorrow's school day, the district will no longer engage in contact tracing of students and employees who are exposed to someone with COVID. Today, the state's new COVID toolkit recommendations went into effect, which also did not recommend contact tracing in North Carolina classrooms.